Hi, this is Will Gaddy from GemVR, and today we're going to be taking drone deploy for a test drive. Um, I've flown this a few times before, but what this app allows you to do is set up a flight plan to do an automatic autopilot survey and mapping mission for a DJI uh, drone such as the Inspire, which is what we're going to be flying today. So you can set up you know, the extent of the area you want to cover and you know, the more dense your coverage area uh, and uh, flight plan, the more data you'll take and the more accurate your readings will be. So the other thing that we've done is we've actually attached a 360 degree witness camera to the drone, which is what's uh, being shown in the footage you see right now. So what this thing is going to do, this is all completely automatic. So this thing is taking off, it's raised landing gear, it's going to ascend to an altitude. In this case, I've set it up to ascend to an altitude of 250 feet. Um, it's going to point the gimbal down, and then it's going to haul over to the first waypoint where it will begin a zigzag run east-west, in this case and each zig and zag is going to be slightly more north than the previous one and by this way it's going to cover the entire property and it's taking 4k photos all along the way uh, with that gimbaled camera and what that does is it allows for a very very high resolution uh, orthorectangular image uh, to be created an aerial image and then some other neat stuff comes out of this as well, because uh, you can get elevation data, you can get a point cloud uh, file, you can get um, plant health data, uh, pretty crazy stuff. So this is uh, set up to do a very slow flight, uh, because I've flown this several times before for very quick flights. I wanted to get a very high resolution, very detailed uh, 3D map. Uh, of this particular property. So it's going to take its time. This is going to be about a 17 minute flight or so. Uh, so I'm kind of pushing the limits of the battery. Interestingly enough, the app helps you manage that uh, by telling you if you're maybe going beyond your, uh, your allotted flight time with your battery. So it's finishing up the run. So we're going to skip ahead to the, uh, the end here about 15 minutes later and this is finishing up its final run right about as we, we join this again so as you can see we're quite a bit north of where we were before it's just completing its uh, first or its last uh, uh, west to east run and now it's going to turn and it's going to execute a pretty standard return to home procedure and it's going to reset the gimbal. So you'll also notice the green dot down there. That's actually a uh, fluorescent green sled, snow sled, uh, from one of my kids that I actually use as a visual reference point uh, for these kind of things because it's visible from a very, very long distance away. All right, so landing gear coming down. It's getting ready to land. I should point out that at this point, although I've had the sticks on the controls the entire time, in case of an emergency situation, you know, a low flying aircraft unannounced, you know, comes into the area, you know, I have to keep manual control available at all times. This was a completely automatic flight. And the next step here is we're going to take the data off the SD card and then this all gets uploaded to dronedeploy.com and gets processed and then we'll see the net end result of all that data shortly. Alright, so here's the, uh, the result of the capture. This is a little disorienting but this is a time lapse of all the 4K imagery 
that was captured during this particular flight. And the weather conditions were particularly cooperative because it wasn't very sunny. So here's the result. That's the elevation map. Very accurate. And here's a 3D map. And I have to say, I don't have a whole lot to complain about this. Um, this is a really high resolution uh, 3D map. So this is even higher resolution than the stuff that uh, the US Geological Survey does. So this is a second flight. And we're gonna test some other stuff uh, on this particular flight. Now you might notice things are a bit more wobbly. This witness camera that you're viewing, the 360 witness camera, is not gimbaled at all. So as the aircraft maneuvers, changes its attitude, you're going to see the horizon change and it's going to wobble all around. And there you go, it's doing its first maneuver. Sure enough. Let's try this again with image stabilization. Some of our magic here. Are so good, doing pretty well. Okay, first maneuver, there goes the gimbal. It's about ready to haul over to the first waypoint. Not too shabby. We are fighting a lot of winds um, on this day. They're like gusts to 20 miles an hour. So this is gonna be a much wider area survey. So we're doing this much, much faster than the previous run. So it's not gonna be as high resolution, but it's gonna be covering a much wider area. Also, this flight was about four minutes, so very quick. So here's the net result of it. All right, here's the uh, fast motion time lapse of all the 4K footage that was captured. And here's the payload, so that's the high resolution aerial map. And let's see how the elevation map came out. And that's pretty cool. Right, how about the 3D map? So this one is not quite as high resolution and doesn't have as much detailed texture and geometry as the previous one, but we covered a very big area here. This was about 18 acres in four minutes. That's pretty cool.